Good day everyone, it's Axman here, and today we're going to look at the new Tomb Raider. <laughs> Just kidding. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? <laughs> what a dick like. So the other day, ha, kidding, yesterday the Tomb Raider was released. Uh, normally I don't make class guides so early after a release because of a nerf or whatever, but this guy is just so fucking badass, I just really couldn't help myself. <laughs> yes. And what do you know, everyone's prayers have finally been answered. We finally got ourselves a summoning class. Seriously, when I say summoning class, I really do mean a summoning class. You can have minions following you around doing your filthy deeds, or just have a huge goliath crush everything just for the pure lols. <gasps> now enough of that nonsense, let's talk about this guy's skills. We're gonna start off with a passive skill. Your passive skill, Soul Caller, has three souls orbiting your body. You can collect one soul every eight seconds, or you can gain them quicker by attacking mobs. These souls work in conjunction with your second skill, Bone Morang, but we'll get to that in a minute. Your basic attack, which I have no idea what to call at this point, shoots a continuous short beam. It's not the strongest of basic attacks, but it does have a fairly quick attack speed. Speaking of attack speed, it's just like the Draculite. It can't be slowed down, it can't be improved with gear. But that's not really a problem, because I think it shoots fast enough, honestly. Your second skill, Bone Trash, and oh, alright, yes, I guess we're gonna go with that name, allows you to throw a small skeleton that helps you fight. A maximum of six skeletons can be deployed, and each skeleton uses one salt Spawn. Speaking of skeletons, I don't like the word. I'm gonna switch it to minions. I think that sounds much more fitting. They're not the strongest and they actually die fairly quickly and only last for about 10 seconds, although they can be healed with your main attack and as long as you can keep this up, they will last indefinitely. But like I said, they are quite fragile and they die fairly quick, like a glass hammer, so don't expect them to last too long. You can, however, spam them because this skill does not cost any energy whatsoever. Which is quite nice. Your third skill, Banshee's Boon, turns you into a ghost. You take 90% less damage in ghost form and it adds an extra area of effect to your basic attack. This heals your minions and damages any mobs around you. Although this skill drains your energy really quick and stops working when your energy reaches zero. Although you can use this skill at any point, it just doesn't last for as long if you use it when your energy is only half full. The only way I can think of to make this skill last longer is to increase your overall energy, which isn't very well done at the moment since the most you can only do it by is about 10, maybe 20. Your ultimate skill, which is pretty badass, badass? Yes, is Grid Goliath. You sacrifice all your baby minions to create a huge freak of nature. This is really cruel, you fucking bastards. The more minions you sacrifice, you sick fuck, the stronger or bigger this thing gets. This is guy is genuinely like a huge fucking brick shithouse, so expect him to last quite a while when you summon all six minions. I swear to god this thing's a fucking tank. <laughs> yes. He deals a hefty amount of damage, but unlike the smaller minions, you can't heal this thing, so yeah. You just kinda gotta watch him die, which is... it's really sad. But then you think about how all the many minions you've had to kill to create him, and you think, well... I'm a cruel bastard. Resummoning a new Goliath overwrites your previous summon, although you can summon another five minions alongside this guy, basically turning you into a boss for mobs. <laughs> yes. Instead of energy, the Goliath costs one soul to cast like all the other minions, hence why you can only summon five minions whilst this guy is out. So what stats do the Tomb Raider use? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure with this class. I'll just show you my gear for visuals, but seriously, don't go by what I'm wearing, because it's all wrong, I'm just too lazy to reroll. Although I do have an idea what he should use, and I will tell you right now. I feel that magic damage, <laughs> obs, is a must. Um, energy regen would also be a good choice. The Banshee's Boon is a pretty thirsty skill to use. Other stats would then be health regen, increase your maximum health, increase your health percentage to whatever. Uh, seeing as the maximum amount of stats you can have across all your gear is about about six to seven. This does leave us then with another two stats to play about with, depending on what ring you got. The last two stats you could probably use then, I don't know. I think jump would quite... Yeah, jump is quite useful for this class, I'd say. Um, I'd also say that movement speed is quite useful too, because hitting things and running away is a good thing to do. Then again, this guy's attack range is quite short, so I don't really know. That could work though. But then again, I don't know, that's just my opinion, and I'm kind of rambling now, aren't I? What emblems and pets should we be using now? Well, flasks, I didn't say flasks then, but flasks, use any one you like, because they all do the same thing, just differently compared to others. I think that for the emblems, I'm currently using the Vampiric and the Arcane, emblem. I think I could probably switch the Vampiric to the Shadow Shrike, which would be quite fun because that just adds more to the summoning process. But I think I'm happy with what it is at the moment, but then you can just play about with that. And I finally changed my flipping pet from that Samantha, the bloody cat, for that butterfly. I can't remember that butterfly's name. <laughs> Ah, the feisty flame dancer. That's the son of a bitch. An extra 10 maximum energy. That's come out wrong or well. And the 12% energy regen. That's a freaking good stat to have for this class. So what are my overall thoughts of this class? Shit, this thing's a fucking tank. Have you ever looked at him? He has a ton of health. All the aggro's like given to your minions so you don't take any damage anyway. He is just a 
very fun to use. I was going to swear then, I held it in, I don't know why, because I say fuck all the time. Anyway, but yes, this class, wow, he is just a tank. All the aggro's aimed at this guy's, and yeah, that's all I can say about this guy. He's a tank, the playstyle is completely different to everyone else. He's so much fun to use. Although he's not perfect, I personally think his basic attack, or his main attack, is fairly weak compared to other magic classes out there. This isn't really much of a problem, since your minions will balance out your damage, but just using that main attack alone just to kill things without your minions would be a disaster. But then again, why would you do that? Because that's just a stupid thing to do, isn't it? But yes, my final thoughts, this class has immediately turned into my main class again. I say again, it's the first time that this guy has been my main class. He's so fun to use, he's such a different player style to everyone else. I just love having minions follow me around and if anything the dancing animation that the big goliath does and your small minions do kind of turns you into a really shit boy band dancing and that's just pretty badass. But anyway thanks for watching the video guys. I hope I've helped. I really do hope I've helped but then again people will shout at me because they always do. Anyway I hope you enjoyed watching. I come out weird. Goodbye and thanks for watching. Goodbye guys. Thanks. Goodbye now.